I made a save file for Fable 2 that contains a custom debug menu. This save file is intended for use with the Xenia emulator. There are actually two save files, one for Game of the Year and one for Not Game of the Year. The Non Game of the Year save file is deprecated, and I'd really recommend getting Fable 2 Game of the Year or Platinum hits. In the debug menu, you'll find all the usual options you'd expect, like free camera, hide GUI, field of view modification, NPC spawning, time control, and other things like cheats that add items and experience, alongside a bunch of other miscellaneous debug functions. Here's a list of the things that's in it. I have truncated the list and I might have missed something, but it should give you a general idea. It also has a couple of options to work around the issues that the Xenia emulator currently has, namely the Black Hero texture bug and the exploding dog model bug. My workaround for the black textures is to set the hero's model to one of the side character models. Some people may not like this solution, but others may prefer it over playing as the normal hero entirely. To undo this effect, go to the Become Adult or Child menu and choose one of the options. My workaround for the other emulation issue, the exploding dog model, is to simply make the dog invisible temporarily. This resets when you reload the game and at certain points during the story, but it only takes 3 seconds to reapply it. Installation is extremely simple. Download the safe file zip, a link to which is in the description, and assuming you're using the Xenia emulator, just go to this directory and place the folder in there. That's it. The save should appear the next time you press the continue button. Now that you have the save, you need to know how to control the menu. The menu doesn't work exactly how you'd expect. To open the menu, hold LB and press A. If you're in free camera, just press A. Now, B doesn't close the menu, but instead it cycles to the next page. You can see the page count at the top right. Once you're at the last page, pressing B will loop back to the beginning. Since B doesn't close the menu, you'll find a leave menu button as the first option on the first page of every menu. Because there's so many menus, I added a quick way to close them all. Simply click the right stick, and the next time you choose an option, the thing related to the option will happen, and then the menu will close. If you don't want to choose an option, just click the right stick and choose Leave Menu. The menu doesn't work perfectly though, and has some bugs. There exists a minor graphical bug in the menu, where if you choose an option or go to the next page, the option in that slot will be highlighted again. This is purely graphical and has no actual effect on the menu. Know that after you press an option or go to the next page, the top option will really be selected. I added a workaround for this in the menu configuration screen. It'll make the menu's animations play out fully, which will make it slower to use the menu, but it seems to fix the problem entirely. There may also be odd behavior with any of the menus that show the value picker GUI. If you have any issues with them, close the menu and wait 10 seconds and try again. The quest menu options should only be used after childhood is over, as using it while you're in Old Town or the castle seemingly breaks the main storyline. If at any point the menu encounters an error, it should pop up a window telling you about it, then ask if you want to restart the menu. If this happens, please remember what the error said and leave a comment or something. If you say no to restarting the menu, you won't be able to use it again until you reload a save from when it was running. I can't guarantee the menu doesn't crash or corrupt the save at some point, so I'd recommend not getting too attached to the save file but at the same time, I don't see how the menu itself could cause any major problems. For example, just using a side character model and making the dog invisible shouldn't break anything at all. There are definitely some functions that could crash the game though. For example, the time control option can break cutscenes and cause soft locks. As mentioned before, the quest menu is also unstable. Try and use your common sense. Spawning a bunch of trolls or loading a different level during a heavily scripted sequence is probably not a good idea. Of course, if you're just messing around and don't mind restoring an old save, go wild. The source code for the menu is available in my Fable 2 GitHub repository. The way I made the save file is by first installing my runtime script loader mod. A link to my tutorial about installing it is in the description. Then I developed the debug menu mod script. Once I was satisfied with it, I killed the runtime script loader coroutine, but left the debug menu coroutine running. Thanks to Dime Bonix, Machine4578, and Jeffrey, aka the Fable Historian, for testing the menu. Thanks, and have fun.